FM23 have brought it back. They've brought it back. FM23 and those lords at Sports Interactive have brought back the one button, the one button I missed so badly in FM22. And it's to do with finding players. Now we know we've got this brand new scouting system, right? It's beautiful, it's big, and it's a lot more streamlined. But today's not about that. We'll go into that when the full game comes out. What we're gonna do is the easy way. Now let's say you're in a rush and you want to find a player who's like one of your favourite players in real life. You want a Messi, you want your own Mbappe, your own Haaland, or even your own Kevin De Bruyne. And at this stage of the game when it's in beta, what I really want to do is get on with the game, have a look at tactics and see what's working. So I don't want to spend hours and hours trying to find a player. So we could do this again. We start from the scouting screen as per normal, but this time we just go over to players and players in range. What it brings up is the old school player layout that you're probably used to. Now I'll go across to here to move search. Everything looks like FM22, right? Apart from one key button. And it's in the top corner there. Find similar player two. Now I did a video on this in FM21. It's the lazy man's guide to finding players pretty fast. So say we're looking for a player to be influenced by Kevin De Bruyne. We'll type in Kevin D and down it comes. We'll press that and the game has a little think about it. Get in his key attributes and his role, things like that. And there we go. So it's got his attributes down there what it perceives as his key attributes and his role here. Now with the role, I want you to take that off. Simply scroll down to the bottom, press any. That means these guys down the left are not pigeonholed by saying he's a Mazala, rather than he's just a midfielder, central midfielder. So then we've got more options down that side. If you want further options, you can look at these attributes and take one out. Maybe you don't need crossing, maybe you don't need your central midfielder to break out wide and cross. You could take that out. Your other option is to simply drop these points down one. Like that, just dropping them down. And as I'm doing that, see out the corner of my eye, the list's getting bigger and bigger. Age range stays wide, because for this example, I want to see all the players that are going to come up. And we'll press OK. Now we've got a good big list of players. Different ages, different starting leagues. So we're going to have good options there in our search for our little budget quick fix of De Bruyne. Now this is obviously not the premium best way to scout, but for a quick hit, I love it, I love it. It's gonna give you a load of different options. Now at the top there, you can see we've got De Bruyne, Modric, Kimmich, Bernardo Silva. These are the elite, but because we've opened it up a bit now, we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see we've got players ranging from 85,000 and up. So we've got a whole different pool of players we can choose from. For example, in the league that I'm based over in Portugal in the Liga Nos, Kanya Fujimoto has popped up. And if you have a good look at his attributes there, what's not to love there? You've got corners, you've got crossing, Good dribbling, passing is elite, vision is exceptional, good flair, composure, balance. What a player we've unearthed simply by comparing him to Kevin De Bruyne. Also, looking down the list, because we had that wide age range, we've got a whole breadth of players in the 30s, in the 20s, we've got some in the 21, so young ones coming up again in the league that I'm based at. So you've got a whole load you can pick out for 23 there for Fujimoto, 35, depends on what level you're at, but it's an option. It's an option that you can use to find players fast. Example, if I'm not bothered about the age and I want a one season or so hit, look at this guy, Ganzo. Now, attribute wise, he's as close to Kevin De Bruyne as you're gonna get. He's 32, that's the only negative. Player traits are all there. This is a great, great, great little pickup. And at the other end of the scale, it'll bring you potential De Bruyne's like Ivan Jaime here. Again, he's 21, but look at everything on the way up. Passing, first touch, crossing, dribbling. He's gonna be a baller and we found him by that little click of a button. Now, like I said, that isn't the optimal way to find players. Of course it's not. But if you're in a rush and you just want to find someone pretty fast, I don't see any problem with it all. You can do all sorts of plays in there. Just clear it. Think of someone like last season's big sensation, Sesco. Pop him in. Benjamin Sesco. And it'll bring up all his attributes as well that are key. Again, take the roll out. At the minute, there's only four or five players that can compare to him. But once we've had our way with it, drop the advanced forward roll off. And then just have a little look at these. Doctor one or two. And instantly we're getting a bigger pool of players to search from, but all are pretty similar to Sesco. That, my friends, is the lazy way to find players. I'm going to use it now and again. Why the hell not? By the way, for a full scouting recruitment focus, when the full game comes out, I'll be all over that with a more in-depth video.